Good afternoon, hello and welcome guys. Uh, back to another video. This is the first video I've put on the channel in five months. Now, I want to address that very briefly. Uh, whilst you watch this gameplay, uh, Deathmatch MP5 SD, which is the new gun in CSGO. It's a, a substitute for the MP7. I'm not messing that up. I'm pretty sure it's a, a substitute for the MP7. So an integrated silencer, so it's like the USPS, you know, it's the, the bullets are silenced, which which is nice, but I'll get into that a little bit later. I just want to briefly address why I haven't been on this channel in five months. There are a few main reasons, the first being that when I left this channel five months ago, I had A-levels coming up, so um, I, had to <laughs> I had to study for them, obviously. Um, luckily, that turned out well for me, um, so yeah, that, that was good. So the A-levels, all good, but they're done and dusted now. The second thing was I had to start looking for a job, so I decided not to go to university, so again, that's all sorted. The job is, is you know, I'm working somewhere now, so that's all good. Um, and then just the third, like, and probably one of the main factors is that there's just a lack of creative, creative inspiration, to be fair. Now, if you've ever made a video or you've ever done YouTube in any degree, then you're going to know that making videos, even simple videos like this one, requires some degree of creative input. You have some sort of idea what you're going to record, you know, how you're going to record it, stuff like that. And then the fourth reason is the reason why this video is quite simple. I wanted to have a better video to come back to YouTube too, and you know, that, that's the truth. I was planning better things, but my computer's been acting up just, just a little bit recently. And um, basically, I've had a lot of trouble even recording this one simple gameplay that's just 10 minutes long. I managed to get it eventually, but I was trying to record things, and it was all lagging out, everything was going wrong, you know, I was barely getting more than 10 frames in in some games trying to record a 10 minute video, which is just ridiculous. So this is what you've got in the end, you know, this is all I could record in any sort of, you know, reasonable FPS, and I'm kind of voicing over afterwards, so, you know, this is the gameplay I had before. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're the four or so main factors it was somewhat unavoidable, you know, A-levels and the such. And it's just my computer playing up, which really did put the icing on the cake. So, yeah, so that that's why I've been away for five months. <laughs> Sounds like it's a, long, it's a long period of time, to be fair. I, it is mostly the fact that I just didn't know what to record. I had no interest in recording a video, I can't lie. And that would have led to, to poorer quality videos that I had no interest in making, at least. But, I mean, sitting down and actually, you know, watching this game play back whilst I uh, kind of... You know, voiceover, do a voiceover is, is actually, it feels good to be kind of recording again, which is nice. So I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this and hopefully, hopefully he says, because I'm not promising anything because, you know, that doesn't never, that never ends well. Um, I'm going to be hopefully uploading fewer videos than once every five months. I hope to have a somewhat of a more consistent upload schedule, although I will repeat again, this is not promising anything. This is just more of just a hope than anything. So, let me get onto the actual MP5 SD now, because that's what, that's, you know, if you click this video, that's probably what you're here for, is my thoughts on the MP5 SD, and I do have a few main points I want to hit on. The MP5 SD, aesthetic-wise, I actually really like the look of the gun. I, I really like the look of the gun, I guess I'm going to try and put a, uh, a picture on screen uh, of the MP5 SD in all its glory. It's kind of, I mean, you can see in this video, but it's kind of hard to see. I think I do inspect it a few times. So like when you reload as well here, what you can see there is it's quite, you can see it, but I will put a, an, an image on the screen. And yeah, it looks nice. I mean, I don't know about your guys' opinion on that, but I honestly believe the MP5 SD looks really nice. And it's a really nice change. It's really refreshing to have a new gun in CSGO. I don't think we've had a gun for, I don't know when the last time we had a new gun in the game. It's been a, a long time to my knowledge. And I've been playing for a while. Um, so yeah, I like the look of the gun. The gun looks and it feels nice to shoot. It really, it's really satisfying to get a kill. At least, I mean, that's in my opinion. Again, you might have a very different opinion, but that's you know that's all good. So yeah, I mean that that's that's just kind of what I'm thinking about that. Now, my I've got one main gripe with this: the time to kill. In my opinion, it's a lot longer. The MP7, which is the replacement or you know the alter the alternative option as, uh, for the MP5 SD. The MP7 does 29 damage. I'm going to put two pictures up on the screen, or if I if you, or if I'm just that bad, I'll put them up one after the other, one after each other. The MP5 uh, the MP7 does 29 damage, and the MP5 SD does 27 damage, which although doesn't seem like a lot, uh, you know, which doesn't seem like a lot right now. Uh, you know, speaking about it, to be fair, it doesn't. But at the same time, when you actually get in the game, that feels 
like a lot, a lot of difference, in my opinion. You know, you, there were multiple occasions in the gameplay that I got uh, 85 damage in five shots. The MP5 SD, 27 damage and 12 fire rate, which is the the same as the MP7. That that's fine. Recoil control, absolutely the same. The accurate range, both is 15 meters. The literally the only difference between the two guns is that the MP7 offers two more damage, but is less stealthy as you're running around. Now it's up it's up for debate whether that makes any tangible difference. The stealth factor. It does feel a lot nicer, it does feel smoother, it does feel more satisfying to kill in my opinion. But whether it offers any competitive advantage or not is another question entirely. Now I'm not entirely sure that it does, and that's just my opinion. I would welcome you to kind of have your own opinion and you know that that's 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 great. I'm just not really convinced. At the same time I do I do like this. This this uh, gun. I mean You've seen this gameplay already. I've done 91 in five damage to to a player there. I mean, it just. I mean, again, this might just be a completely psychological thing, but in my opinion, it feels weaker. I think the re the, the the recoil pattern, the like spray pattern, is slightly different because I mean. But please be aware that this is my this gameplay you're watching now. It's my first game in a a couple of months, to be fair, and I hadn't practiced or anything. I just got straight in and I recorded the first game I played because. I mean, the first game that I could get to work anyway, because I had been in previous games and quit out because it's just unplayable. But as soon as I got my recording working, I recorded straight away. So this is this is the first my first practice in a couple of months that you're seeing now. Now I know that this is. I mean, you can't really compare this gun to rifles because they, you know, they have two completely different jobs. You know, they're only going to be bought in completely different financial situations in game wise. But a lot of people are going to buy some these now. Would you rather the MP7 than the MP5 SD? That's the real question. And then, you know, in my opinion, it comes... I think it comes further up than that to the large issue of what's better in whole SMG category. Are you ever going to choose an MP7 or an MP5 SD over a Mac 10 or over an MP9? You know, does the, does the money difference, you know, that, those few hundred dollars... Do they provide a massive competitive advantage? Now, see, in my opinion, I'm always going to I'm always going to argue no for that. I never think the MP7 or the MP5SD has a m better damage or n not enough advantages to justify the extra few hundred dollars over an MP9 or a Mac 10. I mean, same goes P90. I just feel like it's that much stronger that if you're going to invest some money into an SMG, you know, to use as a legitimate option <laughs> to kill people with, why? If you're willing to invest 1,500, 1,600, it's 1,500 into an MP5 or SD or an MP7. Why do you not just splash out? That, you know, why do you not just wait, buy a pistol one round, and then, you know, get an extra eight hundred dollars and buy a P90 armor? You know, I just feel like that's so much stronger, in my opinion, with an extra mag size as well. That's so much stronger than an MP5 SD or an MP7. Again, that's completely down to personal opinion. Some people may well prefer the MP7 or MP5 SD. But I just don't know. In my opinion, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna argue that that's the case. That guy just took a bullet for me, bless him. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. We haven't got long in the game now, so that's pretty much what I have to say about the MP5 SD. I like it. It feels really good. It's nice to shoot, and I think I end up this game with about 35 kills. Yeah, 35. Let me go to the end. I end up with 34 kills and 25 deaths, which I thought, <laughs> considering it's my first game back for a couple of months, wasn't too bad. But I mean, you know, that's just that's just my opinion on the gun. I very much appreciate your listening to my opinion. And, uh, you know, if you've got a different opinion, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to read those. I mean, yeah, so feel free to do that. You know, leave it. Got to do the old, the old YouTube thing. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Feel free to turn on those notifications. Which is such a cringe thing to say. But, yeah. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, comment your opinion on the new gun in CSGO, and I mean about its current state compared to the MP7 and those two guns compared to the whole SMG category in general. I'd love to know your opinion on that. I appreciate your listening to me today. Hopefully I can get some more videos out relatively soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.